Okay, so now I got it fired up. And to take a look at some of the diagnostic stuff. There's fuel pressure. There's non-ported vacuum. Right in the green section, I can tweak the timing and get that a little better. I got the timing light hooked up. Okay, now as you can, I don't know if you can see that, but it's a little bit to the left. So I'm going to tweak it over. All right, and now, I don't know if you can see those marks, but they're right about the middle. Here's what the AFM's doing. You put your finger on that. So steady it up a little bit. And it sounds pretty good. All right. Late ignition timing, so I'm going to just advance it a little bit. Just get it speeded up a little bit. That's where the marks are. Not quite where they should be. But what I want to do now is hopefully get this thing set up so you can see what happens when I tweak the throttle. I'm going to try it slowly. Boom, it dies. Okay, so now what I've done is I've disconnected the vacuum advance from this side of the advanced vacuum advance can. And I've used the golf tee to plug that. Just hit the timing. All right, it's pretty far around there. It's, pretty, it's a little bit more advanced than it should be. I'm going to try to pull it back in to the center. I can hear it slow down a bit, and I bet when we check it, it's going to be pretty much dead on. Yep, right there, dancing around the center. Okay. Now, hopefully, this will demonstrate what happens now when I tweak the throttle. right up nice and smooth. Doesn't die, doesn't do anything. Okay, now I'm going to show you what's going on with the vacuum, which remember, it's hooked up to this, uh, to the engine rear, vehicle rear of the throttle body. So that's the non ported back. All right, well, it's telling me that my timing a little bit late right now. Now as I rev on the non-ported side, drops. Just for laughs, I'm going to advance the timing here. See, that'll come right up 
into the green. Sounds like there's a little too much air. So then what I'll do is I can just turn down the just a quarter turn, a little bit more, half turn that surging too much air getting through. So now what I've got, I got that. Let's see where the timing marks line up. They're way over. It's just showing me that that timing is too advanced. I'm going to believe the timing light and not the vacuum gauge. And I'm going to tone it down a hair. You get those marks at the seam again. Now I'm going to advance it and I uh, can't do all three, but you're going to have to trust me that the uh, centrifugal advance does move it around when I rev it. And that's only with the vac advance disconnected. And I can kill the engine if I apply vac into that, but I can't rev, hold the camera, and do all that at once. Okay, so for this shot, what I've done is I've switched the vac gauge over to the ported vacuum on the vehicle front of the throttle body and feed it in there, and at idle, I'm getting, it's a little bit on the plus side. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to rev it and let everybody watch what that does. Ported side, and that's the line that would be hooked up to the back advance. But if you do that, it dies. Okay, so this one might be in the famous last words category. I've never done this before, um, but what I did is I teed the the vacuum gauge into the retard, and the retard reads off the plenum. It's hunting a little bit. I'm just going to assume that the uh, screw at the throttle body's opened up a little bit and the timing's a little slow. And uh, so this is where this one's teed in now. It's at the vacuum, ret the retard. Whoops, ouch. Okay, careful. Don't touch moving parts. Um, it's at the retard fuel pressure regulator and into the plenum. We'll get the camera on it and we'll see what happens. Tell my wife I love her if this blows up. And my kids too. And I seriously was going to pay that dude back a month. That may well have answered my question because if you remember when I put the vac, this thing used to be plumbed up to the throttle body. Now I got it plumbed into here and the vac does a very different thing. So let's shut her down and see what happens. I'm going to try re-plumbing that. Alright, here it is plumbed that other way and it just died again. Okay, I can't even keep it running that way. Okay, well since I couldn't keep it running with um, the vacuum advance plumb that way, I know that your next question would be, well, check your static timing. So what I did is I cranked the wheel around until I got the marks right there. And I know they're a little bit off, so... Okay, there you go. Pretty much dead on the seam. And that's where the rotor is. This is where 
the cap goes and you can see there's the old rotor oh, this is a neat way to do it rotor rotor cap so pretty darn close I think exactly close rotor right there cap coming down bam 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 and twist it around a little bit lining up with those guys maybe a hair certainly shouldn't be enough to keep it from running and could not even keep it going with the vac advance with the retard plugged into this one um, which is a very low vacuum at idle so that would tell me that the retard wasn't let's see that it was retarded more when it was plumbed in here than when it was plumbed in there but for some reason I couldn't even keep it going so I'm going to put it back to how it was originally plumbed into the fuel pressure regulator continue to keep that one capped and see what happens make sure that I can reproduce and make it run again and I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the um, um, the vacuum advance as well well heck I'll keep it on demonstrate the fail one more time and then do it get it running again and uh, hopefully you guys will be able to figure this out for me okay well uh, I couldn't even get it uh, back running I mean it ran um, when I replumbed everything um, couldn't keep it going timing marks were about in the middle uh, got it to rev and hold the rev about one time um, but it's just uh, obviously not anything that I can drive in this condition um, just super frustrated and don't know what to do and hopefully there's somebody out there that has another test for me to run uh, wants to see some other diagnostics or has uh, some advice so if you can that would be great 